so so instead of posting links to my new youtube videos or post to my blog i have decided to start engaging my followers on telegram by posting quizzes of which you can participate and see how you understand things or how you know things so i've started posting quiz and the answers i'm getting from these quizzes are really funny and it's actually a good uh learning approach so in this video i'm simply going to go through the quizzes which i have posted this past week and i'm going to go through all the questions and i'm going to explain so that you can understand better so this is the first quiz that i posted on july 26 and it was about what is price action in forex trading so before i go through all this okay remember that you can join my telegram uh, channel and group the link will actually be in the description so the question is what is price action in forex trading and this is a quiz so the first answer was trading based on economic indicators analyzing price movements on a chart following news and market sentiment trading with fibonacci levels okay so which one is the correct answer i'm sure you can see the correct answer which is marked by a blue tick but in short you did, if in case you did not know which one is was the answer here so price action is actually analyzing the price movement on the chart why am i saying so first let me explain why all these other answers are not true so trading based on economic indicators so price action is mainly based by looking at the chart okay and okay knowing what is happening on the chart without the make uh, without using indicators okay so you simply look at the chart okay draw some stuff label some stuff and that's actually price action okay because you're trading in the direction where price is going so that's price action but when it comes to indicators okay based on the previous data then they show you what will happen in the future but when it comes to price action okay you're actually trading like where price is actually going if it's an uptrend you're buying and, not, and again you're not selling in an uptrend so b or the second answer here is the correct is studying the movement on the chart okay following news and market sentiment you no know, that's sentiment analysis okay or fundamental analysis trading with fibonacci levels okay this may be an answer but it does not qualify b the second answer qualifies more trading on economic indicators not really so b is the perfect answer so the second question is what is smart money in trading so the first answer is a term used to describe traders who have high iqs the funds allocated by retail traders for speculative purposes the large institutional investors and professional traders who have significant market influence the market saved by traders uh, through smart budgeting so smart money is actually uh, not really a new but it is a trading strategy which is people a lot of people refer to be the best strategies you can ever try out in forex okay yeah i know about small trading but i don't usually use this type of strategy okay i prefer simplifying things and going the simple things so one rule in forex and whatever you trade always go with what works for you so this much money trading can work for others and might not work for you so simply go with whatever is working with you but it's a good trading concept or strategy because it shows you exactly at every market price move what happened and what will happen so yeah if you combine this uh type of strategy you know strategy that's even good okay so now what one which one is the correct answer i'm sure it's one which has got a, uh, a blue tick but let me first explain all the answers so the one the first one is talking about who have got iqs meaning like it's a strategy no it's a term used to describe people like who are very intelligent no that's not that funds allocated by retail traders no it's not that so the answer is actually the c or the third answer because smart money concept is usually like the what people use this strategy not people use this strategy but the smart money um strategy okay like you, you can also refer it to refer it by like trading by the banks meaning okay the banks they have got their own way and how they trade okay and i think the only way you can understand what smart money trading is if you can go on youtube watch a smart money uh 
to total of about one hour or so then you're going to learn about the blogs like the other blogs okay where are these institutions or people with high influence when they buy and when they sell okay and i think that is when you'll be able to understand why the third answer is the answer then the last one is about money saved by traders through smart budget you know it's not about saving money it's a type of strategy okay where you trade as if you're the bank or how where you trade as if you've got big influence or something like that yeah it's that it so the next um uh, quiz is how do you think forex brokers make money so there are a lot of ideas there are a lot of misconceptions uh, okay there's a lot of information out there and there's a lot of questions out there on how forex brokers actually make their money so these are some of the answers so the first one is charging a commission on every trade executed earning from the spread the difference between the bid and the ask price receiving a fixed fee providing access to the forex market the money forex traders lose okay such a funny answer so the answer here is the second answer why am i saying so let's start with the first one charging a commission on every trade executed okay yes some brokers they do charge a commission on every trade uh, executed but most of them don't okay and charging a commission on any on every trade executed is really a bad idea and the second answer is the best because so by the way there are different types of brokers okay some they charge commission okay some wash they to choose between commission and spread okay but most of the brokers they make money by the spread which is the difference between the bid and the ask so like if you go you open your forex chart let us say a current pair okay you're not going to buy and sell at the exact rate so different brokers are going to have their own buying rate and their own selling rate so now the difference between the buying and the selling rate is the actually the spread and some brokers have got a big spread others is small so this is how they actually make money then receiving a fixed fee for providing access to the forex market well i'm not sure about this but it's not the answer again as i said depending on the type of broker okay maybe they get some liquidity from the bank maybe they may be getting a fee for providing access to the forex but mainly they make money by the spread then the money forex does lose okay so a lot of you actually this was my first question on when i started trading was like maybe the only way uh, brokers make money is the money we lose so the question is where does the money we lose go okay so let me know what you think about where the money we lose go in the comment section okay so my theory is that the money we lose actually goes to liquidity providers okay i don't think it goes to forex brokers maybe some scamming scammy uh forex brokers maybe uh, okay and again there are a lot of different types of brokers okay some they process the orders on themselves some they process orders okay through another broker or through a bank so it depends okay and money may go anywhere so so the second answer here is the best so this one has got five comments let us see the comments like what these people are actually talking about okay so the other one is like one two and four is saying one two and four are correct answers yeah that's true they are correct but the second one is actually the best and this is why what 51 percent saying is true the other one is saying oh okay that also makes sense this one i don't know what language is this so skip it okay so the next question is which one is the best synthetic indices broker feel free to share your experience so synthetic uh, indices are actually indices that are computer generated like they're not influenced by anything like all you need to do is simply learn about technical analysis you don't need fundamental analysis you don't need sentiment analysis okay it's all about learning reading charts or learning about price action okay and you'll be good to go and the good part about these indices is that you can trade them at any day of the week okay on sunday on monday so it doesn't matter if you are always working 
can treat them on the weekends they're always available okay and they are free from uh events that interrupt the market whereby from nowhere price just goes in the opposite direction on you so these are the best indices and that is what i actually i myself trade so as far as i know i think there are only three brokers that provide this type of indices and the first one is actually the roof there's another one from nigeria called kwako market then there's one called template fx that i don't know where it's from so this one is actually the largest voted uh poll or quiz with 163 votes and then 20 percent chose the roof the roof being the best okay so yeah i agree with 21 percent people the roof is the best and i'm actually a super affiliate and a payment agent so you can actually deposit and withdraw through me especially if you're in zambia so here the roof is the best okay and i think okay the second the last quiz is what is the page in trading so the first answer is three page refers to traders inability to execute a trade due to low liquidity three page is the difference between a trader's intended entry price and the actual price executed three page is a fee charged by brokers when traders hold positions overnight three page is the delay in depositing funds into a trading account okay so here is the question the answer is already the second one but why is the second answer the best answer so what is slippage by the way so when you uh open your meter trader 5 or 4 and you enter a trade okay the trade won't actually enter there and then first of all the request will be sent to the server's broker your broker's server yeah your broker server then the server will now process that okay you're trying to buy or trying to sell then the trade will get executed so there's that time okay now Three page is when, for example, I place a trade now, then the trade is get executed maybe after 10 seconds or 20 seconds. But what causes this? So I think there are two reasons or three. The first one is if, if you might be having a slow internet whereby you place an order, right? It will just start loading, 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 loading. Then after 10 seconds, that's when now the order will be executed and you see it that you have entered the trade. So that's slippage. So slippage is the difference, okay, by like the intended price. For example, if I wanted to sell like maybe one dollar at maybe nineteen point eleven, let me just say one point two, okay. But it later gets executed at one point three. So the difference is the slippage because there was time. So the other reason uh, why that might occur is if your broker server is having some technical problems okay that might happen whereby you end you click buy but it doesn't just happen there and then it takes some time um uh, it takes some time for that to be executed so most brokers they are good so there's no slippage others are really bad there'll be slippage even if your internet is just okay so this also depends on the type of broker you're using so the second answer is the best then the other one is saying Slippage is a feature by brokers when traders hold positions overnight. No, this is not the answer. All these are not correct answers. Let's go to the last uh, quiz. So, the last quiz is actually what is the purpose of a swap or rollover fee charged by Forex brokers? The first answer is is a penalty fee for causing trades to aid him. Brokers charge this fee dis to discourage traders from holding positions for extended periods. It compensates for the interest rate differential between the current pairs being traded. It's a fee that allows traders to switch to a different trading account. So, first of all, you need to understand what is swap fee or rollover fee to understand what the purpose is. So, what is swap fee? So, swap fee is a fee that you actually pay, especially if you're a swing trader. So, who is a swing trader? A person who trades and holds trades for days, weeks, or even months. Okay, but for people like me, like we just enter a trade within an hour or two, we exit as we are scalpers or day traders. So we never pay a swap fee. But if you let your trade, okay, sleep an entire night, come back tomorrow, you're going to find this a swap fee. So this is a fee that you pay to hold the positions overnight. So depending on brokers, some they offer, they have a swap fee. Some of them don't have a swap fee. 
some of the software fees are big some of them are, are small so it depends on the broker you're using so now what is the purpose of a swap fee why is the swap fee there okay so now it's saying is a penalty fee for closing trades to eddy you know when it comes to trading okay you are allowed to use any trading style you want you're not limited to only closing a trade within five minutes okay or having a trade run for weeks no because to actually have a trade run for weeks or days or months you actually need a lot of money because a lot happens and actually the market may actually take you out so you need a lot of money and it's not everyone who's got a lot of money who can hold the position for days so it's not a fee there's not such a thing okay then the th third answer is like it compensates the interest rate okay the third answer is the correct one then the, the second one is about brokers charge this fee to discourage traders from holding positions uh no so as i said earlier on brokers they make money by the spread so this means that if you're entering a lot of trades um, they are also going to make money so they're not going to discourage you if they discourage you it means that they want to be able to make money and this is not anywhere written by a broker saying no don't allow swing trading no so unless otherwise but this can't be the answer then the last answer is a, is a fee that allows traders to switch to a different trading account no this does not make sense but yes because of paying a sub fee you might be forced to go to another different account but still does not make sense to be a purpose because why would the broker okay charge you a fee so that you can run away from them and go to a different type of account so it does not make sense and 10 percent voted for this answer so unfortunately these are anonymous polls or quizzes so i can't really see who answered this and who did this so that you can see and follow them up and see why they chose this okay so i guess this is the end of quizzes that i posted over the past week so i'm planning of continuing uh posting quizzes okay they are very educative and okay it's nice to see and see how people are thinking and others are even commenting and suggesting and all that so remember the link to my telegram channel is in the description okay make sure that we join and we we'll get to learn together and so on so this is keith if you learned something from this video give it a like for more videos like this go ahead and subscribe but for now